watch some of my other aerobatic videos here on our YouTube channel, you know that I talk about the spin, the loop, and the roll being the basis for most of the aerobatic maneuvers that you'd see in a competition or in an air show. We've done the slow roll, done the hammerhead just because it's fun to do, but today, let's do a spin. And the spin is a maneuver that I think a lot of pilots are fearful of, and they really shouldn't be. With the right training, the spin is a great maneuver, and understanding how spins occur and what leads up to a spin makes us a much, much better aviator. So I'm gonna walk us through a spin. Here we are uh, right near my home airport, Plymouth, Massachusetts, about 3,500 feet in the air, just over a highway, because all aerobatics should be done when we're learning in reference to something straight on the ground. So we're over a nice highway. I bring the power back to idle, and I bring the stick back, and just before the airplane stalls, I apply rudder in the direction I want to go, and the airplane spins. There's one half, one, and one and a half turns. And there we have it. like there's a lot going on. Quite frankly, there really isn't. After you do a bunch of spins, the world slows down, you can see everything, and it's a maneuver not to be afraid of. So I hope you'll find your local aerobatic school, go out there and get some spin training. It'll make you a much, much better, much more confident pilot.